we want to consider integration by parts. And what we have there is a you know, formula that uh, we can use when we are dealing with integration by parts. And today we want to look at an example of uh, integration by parts. And we want to look at the integral of ln of x dx. And to help us have a u and a dv dx, then we introduce a number, which is one, because we know that if we multiply one times ln of x, it's still ln of x. And then from there now, we can be able to obtain our u, which will be expressed as ln of x, and then I can get du dx according to the general formula that we have there. And the first derivative of ln of x is one over x. After getting u, we need to get v. And we have dv dx as one. And therefore v is the integral of one, which is x. So I can comfortably say that ln of x dx will be equals to looking at the general formula, u times v, which is x ln of x minus the integral of v x times du dx. And uh, clearly we can see here that the u, the, the x and the x will cancel out. So here I'll be left with one. And the integral of one dx will give us x. So then it means basically that uh, the general solution becomes x ln of x minus the integral of one is x plus c. And note that if you are to differentiate x ln of x minus x plus c, you get ln of x. You can try to do that and see what you get. And I'm sure if you like my videos, you should just place the like button and also subscribe so that you can get the update to newer videos that will be coming up.